This person is an innocent person. He's an innocent redditor. Okay? He's here to ask the question. He's trying to understand the gacha atmosphere and need some clarification. Alright? So I know what I'm about to ask is going to open Pandora's box. But why do people hate the idea of having male playable character? Dudes! Huh? In some gacha games. Or just having any dudes around. Dude haters, rise up. Rise up, alright? For context, before I play into the deep end of gacha games, I was just playing your regular anime IP gacha games like Dokkan Dragon Ball, Brave Souls, or Bleach Brave Souls, uh, Blazing, and King of Fighter All Stars. So he's there from a dude oriented game, okay? So he's here to understand other human beings, why there's a lot of dude haters. Going from Destiny Child to Nikkei, it was kind of weird seeing how people got really upset of the idea of there being male playable characters, even though people joked about it. Hearing about the girls' frontline drama made me want to ask the developers more inclined to make more female characters than male at this point, or just toss, just toss male characters to the side to please the waifu collectors? MLA, I think that's Mobile Legend Adventures, right? Uh, outside of collab, hasn't had any male characters in forever and usually just makes a lot of skins for the female characters. FGO needs its own post for questions and other games I see usually follow the whole catering to a certain demographic. I think the sad reality is that some of these developers could actually do a lot more interesting things by adding dudes or making a new game. For example, Shift Up, Destiny Child was a fun game. It is, its cast was interesting. It makes you wonder, could they actually make a game with a mix female and dude again that would sell? Alright, he got zero upvotes, which is a bit sad. But there's a lot of comments, alright? There's a lot of comments. <laughs> so why do you guys think? Why He wants dudes, right? He wants dudes. But why nobody... <laughs> why he didn't get upvotes? Are people hating his question? So let's see then. Uh... Gachas with a single gender cast and those mixed gender cast are targeting two different markets. If either pivoted to the other direction, people would probably have harsh things to say because that's how the game presented itself at the start. I think that's true. If Blue Archive or Nikkei or it's like a waifu oriented game suddenly add dudes later on, it would be a big problem, right? It would be a, definitely a big problem. I used to play FGO, Grand Blue Fantasy and Arknights, all mixed gender and didn't give a shit that there was male or female in the same game. Characters were cool, game was fun. I currently play Blue Archive, girls only. Uh oh, Blue Archive, adding dudes. If Blue Archive suddenly dropped a playable dude, I'd probably start asking questions because it's been years of cute little student girls. So why a dude all of a sudden? True, true. Why would Blue Archive add a dude, right? Why would Nexon add a dude, right? Think about it. YouTube has been weird. I wasn't getting any of your videos, nor your live streams. Yes. So apparently I'm getting censored on YouTube because I'm here to push out waifu, but YouTube doesn't like it. YouTube say, no, no, dudes, gender equality. YouTube say gender equality. So which is why you will never get notified of my live streams anymore. All right, make sure you guys like the stream, bro. like the stream and turn on the notification. All right, because if you are a dude lover, um, yeah, they, they, YouTube is a dude lover, right? They are more of gender equality. So you're not allowed to like hate speech on, you know, on a waifu only, woman only gacha game. You would drop John Nexon if that happened. <laughs> dude lovers. At this point, I just want a meta and coherent storyline. There's a female only gacha Princess Connect, which has male character. E, e Princess Connect has dude. But it's just honestly, the artist just drew a girl and called it a boy. He is Yuki. I wouldn't be surprised if they introduced one such character in Blue Archive. Blue Archive has Nehru. <laughs> okay, go play Love and Deep Space. Yuki is the MC. It's normal for waifu gacha to have male MC. Even Blue Archive already has male sensei. Wait, so this is a boy. Is this a boy, guys? Any any Princess Connect? <laughs> any Princess Connect 
uh, player can confirm that this is not a girl, but this is a hot dude that looks like a girl. <laughs> Blue Archive has Maki. Your stream, your stream did, not, did show up in my YouTube recommendation. Yeah, so for those of you who like, uh, if you don't, if you want to watch the stream, and what you can also do, you can also try to like, follow me on Twitch, right? Apparently Twitch has better notification system uh, than YouTube, right? A lot of people told me that the Twitch, they get notified on my stream on Twitch, but not on YouTube. Which is, uh, which makes a lot of sense, right? So YouTube is very complicated because YouTube is like, how it works on YouTube is it's divided into uh, streams, videos, and shorts, right? And I think each of those have their own notification. So if you only watch videos, but you don't watch the stream, you won't get notified of the stream, which is going to be a bit different. Yeah, that's just how it naturally is. But man, 13 replies. Okay. Okay, let's see then. Putting male characters in the game is an indication that the game is seeking a general audience, which in turn means there's a limit to the degenerate waifu that will be featured. For many players, degenerate waifu is the primary reason to play the gacha. It's one of the few things that gacha games provide that games without gacha won't. Okay. I think that's pretty fair, right? If you're on, he's talking about fan service, all right? Fan service. Uh, that's one thing. Why he get downward? But couldn't they make a degenerate game that has male and female skins? I mean, Grand Blue Fantasy has it. Minus thirteen. Minus thirteen, sucker. Uh, <laughs> why did he get minus thirteen? Know your target audience. Not every game is supposed to appeal to every player. Don't like a game that has no gacha male characters, don't play. Like the other comments say, it's just different markets. Games that have only female characters are specifically offering a Faron fantasy or male power fantasy, so adding dudes to the mix would ruin the experience. It seems like there will be competition which would make the fan base they are catering to uncomfortable. Yeah, I think that's true, right? If you do have male and female, you're trying to like reach a broader target audience, you're trying to cater to both specific male and female players, uh, rather than just one specific ta kind of players. Uh, one one type, right? And yeah, I can see that. But it also depends on what's the market direction that they're trying to go for. If they're trying to go for the general audience, then they are probably going to... The game is probably going to be casual as well. That That's my experience as well. Uh, if you notice, like we GAN, right? And a lot of other ones. Not very inclusive. Not very inclusive. Wow. Uh, that's going to be... Ooh, what is this essay, yo? essay how about we ask why are we asking for male dudes characters in a waifu only game the f is bro on i guess it's also a good idea to add female characters to otome games i mean the reason why he wants to uh, add male only he wants to add male characters to nikkei and blue archive is because he's a dude lover right Love and Dead Space basically forbids any kind of BL for their official space, and the MC was locked as female from the start. Okay, so it's a it's a it's a straight kind of thing, which is more restricting than many so-called waifu gacha, where there wasn't any rules like that. OP is just insecure. He is playing Nikkei and <laughs> think he is somehow better than others by demanding male character. You see how he doesn't have any problem with otome games. Because he probably doesn't know what Otome games is. I bet a lot of people don't even know what Otome means. OP goes to a gender neutral washroom. What? There's such a thing? Some Otome games have a girl option for the less B route. Wow. <clears throat> Someone could capitalize on making a broader genre, but people who get mad made over a single comment would throw a fit. Okay. Why blame the players? Blame the gacha game developers. Gacha game developers can release male characters all they want. We have the rights to not spend hundreds of dollars pulling for them. The reality is that female characters have a wider audience and people are more willing to spend outrageous amount of money pulling their banners. At the end of the day, it's all about money. I think this is somewhat true, right? If you think about it, I can see some truth to this because like look at, okay, for example, look at Wuthering Waves, right? In the next version, they're going to give uh, Zuzi. I mean, they're not They're not going to give Zuzi. They're going to give the dude. What's the dude's name again? Uh, Xiang Li Yao, right? They give the dude for free. But Zuzi is a character that you you basically obtain from pools, right? So why is it not the other way around? Why did Wuthering Wave not give Zuzi for free? 
And then Xiang Li Yao is the one that you want to pull. Because they know, I'm, I bet you they already researched the market and stuff. They know that the target audience, most of them, they don't care about the dude. Right? They want waifu. And they, sh they probably already have enough, uh, enough data, right? They got GN at the beginning, at the launch. They got uh, the few characters after Jin Si and Chang Li afterwards. They, they probably already know. Based on that, they can tell. And I don't, I don't think this is like... <clears throat> it's uh, impossible to, to say, right? Because you can also look at Honkai Star Rail, right? Why did Honkai Star Rail give Doctor Ratio for free? Right? Why didn't they give like a waifu for free? They choose Doctor Ratio, which is a dude, right? So I think they just know that dude makes less money. So that's why they are more inclined to give that up to players than giving a waifu character. Like at least based on based on so far these examples that I can think of, it does seem that dude banner tends to make less money. I don't think the developers are stupid to give something that they know they will make a lot of money. <laughs> Gacha game got no female whales. I'm sure they do have. Also, it doesn't have to be female whales. There's dude they want to pull for dude as well. But I do think that they are in the minority, right? It's just, it's just in the small niche kind of uh circle. I'm sure they are. But yeah, it's definitely not not going to be uh enough for them to make a profit, which is why that's the direction that they go towards too. Female character have more fans in player base when there is like seventy percent of them and thirty percent male character. Maximum of one to two ratio. Okay, would you play or spend money if the game had seventy percent male character and only release female banner once every few months or even once a year? Probably not. Now apply it to the other side. I don't understand this statement. Isn't this all a, all back to this, right? Would you play or spend money if the game had seventy percent male character and only release female banner once every few months and even once a year? Yeah, that's the whole point, right? Because that developers know this is not going to make them money. That's why they release more female characters. Female players just hate playing male-oriented games. Look at how simple Otome game is. Yeah, I, I think that's a, that's a different style, right? Female and male, they like different stuff. Of course, you can't expect uh, a girl or a lot of girls to like something more like hardcore challenge like watering waves and stuff, right? They probably prefer like something that's more exploration oriented. You can put the blame on both ways. Developers don't usually take much care with male characters unless they are going to be important later on. You can blame the players because they let their voices be heard and stop summoning for male characters which may give off an impression they shouldn't be making them anymore. So people should... I, I, the market speaks for itself man, that's just how it works. Every, every time. The market just speaks for itself. Unless your game is exceptional like Gen, HSR, ZZZ, WUA, what reasons do I have to play mixed gender gacha games when I can get the same experience from pretty much any JRPG games? Wow. Again, the comparison with JRPG. Look at HSR, the game that was marketed as having roughly equal male and female. Just look at the Express Crew and the early banners. It was Sila Jingyuan, Silver Wolf Luo Jia, Blade Kafka, Danheng Imabita Lunae, and Fushan. Yeah, I bet you most pe more people pull for Sila than Jingyuan. I bet you more people pull for Silver Wolf than Luo Jia. Maybe this one about the same because Locha is a good healer. I bet more people pull for Kafka than Blade. I bet more people pull for Fu Xuan than the dude in by Bitter Lunai. But I could be wrong, right? But uh, based on these first few, yeah, I can I can definitely see the pattern right there. <laughs> Male characters are only worth getting if it's meta. Well, uh, this one was Jingyuan was kind of meta back then. Locha is kind of meta back then. Blade, when he first come out, people were like, "Ooh, Blade! Ooh, so cool! Blade is so cool! Must pull." Must pull, all right, and same for Dan Heng, right? Everything is a must pull, but that was like back then, right? Of course, all of these characters pretty much have fallen off, sadly. <coughs> they have pretty much fallen off, so uh, it is what it is. So that one is just uh the example for Honkai Star Rail, but we we can also look at like Wuthering Wave and stuff. I guess Wuthering Wave don't have enough. <laughs> Blade, yo, Blade hater, rise up! Any Blade haters? Kafka definitely pulled the most back in the days. Yeah, because she's a... I don't know, it's just a character or is, if there's a dude that's advertised similar to Kafka, I think people would like it as well, but... It's just rarer overall, right? Damn, who is this? Destiny Child character. 
Reminds me of Burning Gum. Would you guys wail for this? <laughs> That's crazy.